Hey folks, welcome back to our channel. You see that sitting there with the hood off and the chain on top of it? We had some really bad luck with that snowmobile. Stick around, I'll tell you what happened. So wouldn't you know it folks, of all the times I picked to come in alone, the crankshaft broke on the engine. Yep, I heard it making noise for a while and I didn't know what was going on and sure enough, this is what happened, look at. That thing turns, but it's not turning the engine. Yeah, the engine will run, but I broke that side of the crankshaft. So I just say that's not too good. So watch this. crankshaft because I can see it spinning right in there and oh I wish it was a thread on clutch and it may be but I know the whole thing's broken because it does this <sighs> yeah so I broke the crankshaft in half I'm guessing it broke just where it comes out I don't think there's much holding that on there either so I'm going to pull the belt off and see what I can do. Well, I just had my brother tow me home. <laughs> he towed the sleigh home first. Then he went back in and hooked onto this and he towed me out so it's in the yard now at least so I can work on it. But, well, we're gonna pull that apart probably tomorrow and we'll go at it. See what it needs. Glad I got another engine for it. <laughs> All right, welcome back. Well, this is what I'm into today. Uh, I want to do the wheel bearing on this car. Remember I said it was getting loud? I could barely stand the noise of it. Well, it's still pretty tight. Are you okay there, Heather? Are you okay, babe? Yeah. <laughs> you didn't get hurt though? No, my butt. <laughs> I'm sorry, babe. What'd you get shoved up at? A bolt, an exhaust, <laughs> fan blade? Yeah. Well, they are tough. Are you okay? You need to go sit down? Did you rip your pants worse? Uh, no. Okay, well I'm glad you're okay though. So here's what, here's what this bearing sounds like. <laughs> sounds like there's some animal in there. Listen to that. Yet it's still tight. There's no wiggle, there's no play, but it's tight. I got Heather to hold this camera if you don't mind here. Sure you're okay, babe? Yeah. Watch it. Not in the lens there. Listen to this. <laughs> That's what we were hearing, but look at it's tight. There's no play. But it's I think it's the inside set of bearings that's bad on it. So I have to tap this little puppy out there somehow, but I do have my bearing. My bearing uh press here. Oh it's not it's a bearing pusher, I guess you'd call it. A bearing tool. That happens, right? Yeah, this guy here. I've had that from way back when. So I knock down the rotor. Yeah, yeah. I knock down this. The good bearing. Gross. Yeah, that's that's something, eh? That's what we were here going to town. <laughs> but yet, like I say, there's no play in it. Oh well, does this fit here? No. No, I know I should have. I know a lot of people will use a, what do you call it? A slide hammer to pop these out or a press. I don't have a press and it doesn't even look like I have anything to fit inside there. So I'm going to find myself a socket that fits right in here. It'll slide it right through. Something that my bolt will fit through. Yeah, the bolt will fit through there like that nicely. No, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna be tapping that out. I know that for a fact. It'll get tapped out because there's no way that I'm gonna be able to press that out. Okay, we'll see what we can do, and we'll be back. 
I didn't show up, but I got the bearing out. I took them out. I was surprised it came pretty easy. I was pretty shocked. When I did the other one on the other side, I had to fight with it quite a bit. I have one for both sides. I think I'm only going to do the one side today. We'll see. Depends on how hard I have to fight with this thing to put it back in. I just like to oil this up a little wee bit, just hopes that it slides in easier. Now that there, if I'm correct, is in like so. Just gonna tap that in just a little wee bit to get it started, and then I'll push it in with my little tool. Oh. And it seems to be going in pretty darn easy. I barely tap on it. Yeah, I know it's not like the other one when you did it. No. Which is good because I know just doing this here, I know I'm not putting a whole lot of pressure on the bearing. And it's bottom here. So you don't go anymore. Yeah. And I'll get my little clip. Put it back in there. The other side though, I think on the other one is damaged a bit. I think that's why such a problem with it. But then once once this is in there though I still have to go at it. I gotta get the race off the other one because it is stuck. It's just a matter of getting this clip in. Getting this clip in and getting this race little bearing roof off here because they press in right there but I'll take that to the basin though I'll heat this up a little bit I'll clean this off and then I'll just tap that right out and it'll be fine so far it's going better than I thought it would We have this little spot even just to get into. It's so nice. Right off there. These are a pair of pliers just for fishing, you know that. I don't think they really fit in these holes too good. No. So yeah, if you screw that it's hard, that's all. Should be a smaller screwdriver, but I don't have it. I'll just work my way around. Pull up. Pass it down in there. A lot of times you just tap it in, it goes good too. That's all. You know, I like to put a screwdriver against there and make sure it's in. We don't want to lose this on the highway. Oh, this is not in here. Here, 
Make sure it's in good. There. That's it. That's it, that's all. Yippers. Oh, but that's gonna spin so much better. See, there's see there's two pieces to this bearing, eh? So that's good. Yippers. I like it. Now you have to go take that race off there in the basement. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get that off out here without heating it up. Heat up the torch. Now we'll use a, a hammer to get it off. And if that don't work, then what I'll do is just uh, slice it. Okay, well, let's go in. Alrighty, so I ended up getting this off quite a while ago, in fact, but when I had some lunch and then I was a little tired, so I laid down for a siesta, believe it or not. But that's what I was talking about. Remember when I said quite a while ago? That the bearing was probably tight. It probably just had rust marks where the balls had sat at one time. Sure enough. I don't know if you can you see that? That is rust marks. And every time the balls come around on that bearing and hit those, it made a noise. And that was usually only happens at the bottom of a bearing where water lays. When the bearing runs around, it catches those little marks and it makes a loud noise, just like that. No, Carl will love that. Yeah, it makes that noise. So, yeah, that is done. And now what I gotta do is this here gets pressed in. And now, see, somebody before had removed one before and they used a torch to cut the race off and they put some bad marks in that race. I did not have to do that, fortunately. The only problem is now this bearing is really cold and this race is really warm. So, it's not going to go in so well. Now, to get this in there, it's going to take, oh, I am going to have to Figure out what I need here. So that's good there. Yep. But is it going to be long enough? Hmm. I don't know. And you see, I want to push right on the center of that. I think that's going to be good. The problem is, I'm going to have to use this side. I think that might be okay. That is bloody cold on the hands. Now I should be able to thread that in pretty good. Pretty goodly. Should pull right in like nothing. I am just gonna clamp this on right here like this. Is it going in there? Um, I think so. Hard to see it, but it's going in. It's pulling that right in there. I'll just pull it in until it stops. Now, 
I want to take this off, turn this around, and make sure it's in there all the way. You don't want to over tighten it. Now I turn this around like this. So it pulls it in the rest of the way. That's it. It's in. It's in all the way. And the vice grips just fell off. Hmm. <laughs> there. It's in there. Now it's just a matter of putting this away where it came from. There. This is the washer going down in here. And then there should be another piece here a tap on. Right there. And then that kit will be put away until I need it again someday. Now, I don't think I'm going to do the passenger side yet. I'm going to take it for a ride and see how it is. There's probably no need in doing the passenger side yet. But listen to that. Much better. Much better. Now, I want to straighten this tin work out here. The dust the vacuum plate, the dust plate, whatever you want to call it. Straighten this a little bit here. So yesterday, yesterday we blew up that. I blew up the Alpine yesterday. That was not so good, but broke the crankshaft on it, I'm sure. As you've seen. So that I will take apart sometime. We don't need it yet, but at some point in time we will. Yeah. That dust plate's not in the best of conditions, but I won't complain. Now, we need these two long bolts. This guy here. Let's right, we'll see if we can do here about this, okay? Really, I could assemble the axle and put everything in there at once. There is all tight here too, so that's good and tight. I don't know if I can do this here. Uh, it'd be a bit of a gamble to try and do this all at once. Let's see. Joint on there, yep, yippers, and then maybe that is probably the better way to do that. I'm guessing. Yeah. Killed two birds with one stone.
back and retort those up later. Sometimes these are hard to get started. Sometimes they slip a bit. So what I do is usually, if it does that, is I just hold up on it with something. But I'm thinking, Really hard to get Beautiful. shots. Oh, oh, I know, I know. Okay, so there we go. There we go. Now I have to tighten those up more, of course. But so that's the easiest way to do that is just to get put the axle through first and then the slider up on there. That is the best way. Now I just got the the nut on there for the uh, the uh, ball joint. <laughs> So I'm gonna get the center axle. The, the nut, the washer, I'm gonna put a little bit of oil on here. I just use a bit of mixing oil. Makes me feel a little better. There's no groove on that washer, so that's all good. Put a little oil in here as well. My Loctite, or my, my anti-seize, never seize. It's a little stiff today, so it's kind of seized today. It's weird, it never sees and it's kind of stiff today. In the cold. I'm not going to torque this nut. I did the far side and it never came loose. The bearing did fail from improper torque. The bearing failed from water getting in there because seals are generally designed to keep your liquids from escaping, not from keeping water from going in. Maybe a 16 millimeter. I'm correct. The bottom, I think, is tight. No, nope, that's larger. I don't know why I did that. I have the, I have the socket right here for that. <laughs> oh, well. That's for the bottom one, though. I know that. Good. 
Ooh, impact is strong. Ooh, that's good. Ooh, all right, wheel. Lower ball joint. Sounds like a disco song. To the ball joint. <laughs> Again, I'm not sure what this job would have cost me if I had taken it to a graduate. I couldn't have done that. At least in here, it's out of the wind, and it's still cold today too. No. Yeah, we still got lots of room. That's not even jammed on there. You gotta watch that there's enough room to pull the wrench off after you use the box end on these ball joints. Sometimes that that stud comes up high enough you can't get the wrench back off on some of them. Oh hey, I don't like that. Look, there we go. It's caught on the ball joint. Yeah. I didn't want to rip that rubber. That's good. That's tight. Now I need. first. There we go. Caliper. Sorry, not the caliper. The rotor. What am I talking about? The caliper. Wow. That key plate. These two bolts. bolts this tin plate right here that goes on there like that this drops down in here make sure that brake is in the right spot I can drop it in later but it's easier to do it now They're just gonna fly out anyway, so I'll just leave them there later. That's okay. I'll put this one in here now. I would like to think so. There we go. There's one. And I can just leave this one now, I guess. Come on, right there. Here. You gonna fight with me? Well, it's good now. Clip this back on there where it's supposed to go. And get on there. Okay, this where I gotta take my gloves off. I hate to because it's cold out here, but I have to. These little plates keep trying to fall off. You stay on there. And then there's it. I'm telling you, some days, some days. this in <laughs> Man, 
matter of tighten these up. Putting the caliper back on. Putting the wheel on. And it's done. It's probably three quarter. I'm not going to take the time to open that up anymore. It'll go on. Now I gotta get the, the bolts. That's good. Get this back in place. Good. Now, it's just a matter of putting the wheel back on. Torquing it up and we're good to go. That's good. Yeah. I like it. I'm going to see what size I need. See the size wrench I need. That socket I need. That's uh, real nuts. I think they're three quarter as well. This here is what makes them feel like they're unbalanced up here. You get so much stuff froze on in here. It makes a wheel feel like you got a bearing really bad in it from vibrations, but it's just ice and stuff froze to your rim. So let that run warm up for us, right? Yeah. Right, test the road. Twenty some over here right
gonna set this over here. My eyes are, I don't know why I didn't see that. Before we go? Uh, just lock the door. Ah, I wouldn't worry about it. We're not going far. Okay. Jump in, huh? Alrighty, let's see what we got here. You're not going to hear it here, of course. I'm going too slow. I had to pull the trailer out of the way, and then I had to pull the Alpine out of the way. I had to clear a spot with the John Deere tractor first. But other than that, we got her going here. Sorry about the noise, but we need some heat. I don't hear anything. Oh. Maybe a dust cover. Might be the rotor on the dust cover I'm hearing because it was bent. Other than that, I don't hear any noise yet. And there is a lot of snow. Nope. Nope. Okay, well we'll battle this road and we'll let them know what it's like out on the highway. Okay. Look at the highway here. Look at the drifts. Look at the drifts here. Look at them. <laughs> That's on the side of the road here. Yeah, it's getting deep. So, the only thing I hear, I can hear the dust cover rubbing on the rotor. I'm not too, too concerned about that. We're going to see what it's like out on the highway here. Can you hear it? You're fine this way. Shut the heater off so we can hear it. Yes. Yeah. I understand. I hear the engine. Which way it turned. 
Yeah, like very faint. It's like a high pitch ringing once in a yeah. while. Just where the. It's just where the, uh, the rotor's catching it. But that, that'll go away in no time at all. I'm not pulling the wheel off to straighten that out. I'll just probably jack it up and reach in there maybe if I can and bend it out of the way with my hand. Yeah. This summer I'll probably make two new ones for it out of some tin. I'll get the plasma cutter out. But that's, that's a lot better than it was before, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Like there's no real noise now. That's even with all the ice and snow frozen in the rims. Yeah, that's pretty darn good. I like it. it didn't take too long today either. You a couple did? hours? Probably uh, from start to finish. Remember, we stopped for a while. Yeah. Would you say two hours or less? Um, I would say probably three if we added it in because from 11 to 12 to 12 to 1. Yeah, maybe three.
that noise from the dust cover is gone now, isn't it? You hear it anymore? Nope. So it's gone. It's polished as away now. There's no more noise. That's good. See, look behind me. See what I mean about snowmobiles? Look at them coming up behind me. <laughs> Hopefully they can see that. Oh yeah, I can see. This is a busy road for snowmobiles. See, take a look down there. They are busy, busy. They're going fairly slow, those ones. Yeah, they're pretty slow, those. Some of them go way fast. Well, I'm going to pull this up to the front of the house. Tomorrow we are, look at our tracks where we walk up and back a few times today looking for, for tools. So I am going to park this in front of the house because tomorrow we have to hook onto that trailer. Yes. We have to clean it out and we have to take some garbage to the dump tomorrow. Yeah. And I'm just going to leave the garden track. I'm going to leave the riding mower out there tonight. Just the John Deere and the snowblower. I'll leave that out there tonight. I'm going to pull this up here because if we have to, now we can plug this in because I have a, I have a cord on the front. Now. I'm just going to park it right here. All right, folks, well, Heather and I just got back with a little car and it works fine. So that was a success. I'm glad you stuck around. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you don't mind, please hit that thumbs up on the way out. And if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And for all you other folks, uh, maybe you haven't been getting notifications, maybe you're not interested, but if you hit the little bell, that, no, if you hit the little bell underneath this video to the bottom right hand corner, uh, you hit that, it will notify you of all my videos that I post if you're interested. So hit the bell, hit all, select all, and they'll notify you anytime I release a new video. Thanks again, folks. Let me know how your day's going. And uh, sun's going down. It's really cold out here. It's going to be another cold night. So you folks take care, stay warm, and we'll talk to you another time. Bye-bye, all.